That look, Jason whispered, and lowered his mouth to my body. He kissed there as he had kissed my mouth, maybe a dozen times before. Most men don't kiss between your legs the way they kiss your mouth, but Jason did. He kissed me just as thoroughly, as completely, as expertly. Then he began to do things that you couldn't do with the mouth. He licked and explored, trying different things, judging his progress by the sounds I made and how much I writhed. He didn't just find the spot and stay on it like it was a button. He explored every inch of me, biting the inside of my thighs between attentions. Nathaniel held me through it all, sometimes so tight I couldn't breathe, sometimes just tight enough to let me feel his strength. Then he squeezed hard enough my gun cut into me, and it felt as if he were trying to crush me. I cried out while I had breath, and all I could do was writhe. Jason drew back enough to ask, am I doing that, or are you? Me, Nathaniel said, and he eased up so my breath came in a ragged gasp. I managed to say, so strong. I need to try harder, Jason said. <laughs> he pulled down my hose and bit me, not a love bite, but bit me on the thigh. I screamed for him. He plunged his mouth between my legs, rougher this time. I writhed and cried out. He pressed teeth into the most intimate part of me. When I didn't tell him to stop, he worried at me with his mouth, his teeth pulling and biting and licking. The pleasure began to build between my legs like heat and pressure and the beginning flickers of orgasm like previews of the pleasure to come. Nathaniel tightened his grip just as Jason pushed me over that last edge. The orgasm was, orgasm was one of those that came in waves, one after another, as if as long as he kept sucking, I would keep going. I shuddered and danced in their hands, cried out when Nathaniel let me, or gasped in breathless silence when he held me too tight for words. Jason finished with a lick from front to back that made me cry out all over again. Still on his knees, he said, that was fun. <laughs> Nathaniel braced, changing positions just a little. Fuck her. Jason, still on his knees, said, why you hold her? Yes, Nathaniel said, and it hurt held an edge of bass growl that wasn't his normal voice. Jason looked at me, the light from the kitchen glistening on his chin and mouth. Seeing him wet from me, tightened things low in my body that had just had their fun, so it started a new wave of writhing. Jason held my thighs while Nathaniel held the rest of me. When my body quieted, Jason laughed, that sound that is all male. Anita, are you okay with this? Do it, I said, please, please. No, Nathaniel said, I'm topping her tonight. It's my permission you need. Jason hesitated, as if waiting for me to protest. There was a time when I would have, but I'd been working at understanding Nathaniel's idea of sex. I'd found that some of the bondage and submission worked just dandy for me. Jason said, you top us both, we top Anita. Jason smiled, but his eyes held something more serious than a smile. I always thought it would take at least two of us. <laughs> Tell me what you want, to do, want me to do. Nathaniel said, get a condom. Chapter three. <laughs> Oh, you're going to get hurt. It's 8.30? It's 8.40? Well, hmm, shit. <laughs> Four more pages? Four more pages. It's still not going to be done, though. Not even the scene. Sorry. <laughs> Chapter 3. Jason pressed his fingers into the backs of my thighs, spreading my legs wider. That they don't squeeze me tight at the same time as if he'd crush my arms against my body. I made small, helpless noises for him. He lifted me minutely, getting the angle he wanted, then he shoved himself inside me. There was nothing gentle about it, and I was wet enough I didn't need gentle. The feel of him shoving himself into me as hard and fast as he could drove a sound from my mouth, but not the sound he wanted. He said in a low, breathy voice, I can't get the angle I want. What do you need? Nathaniel asked from behind me. His voice wasn't breathy, but just deep. Jason had stopped moving inside me so I could think again. A new position? I said, my voice breathy too. Oh, Jason said, I am not doing my job if you can still talk. <laughs> he put action to word and started moving slowly in and out of me. It felt wonderful, but Jason was right. He needed a different angle to push me over that edge. I looked him in the eyes and said in a clear voice, you're right, this position isn't going to do it. Jason laughed. He kissed me, and if he hadn't still been wet from my juices, I might have called it a friendly kiss. Some men would be insulted. You aren't some men. You like feedback, I said. Nathaniel had stopped squeezing me and was more just holding me. That helped me think, too. Do you want a new position? And he wasn't talking to me. Yes, Jason said. I want to do one thing before we change, Nathaniel said. What do you want me to do? Jason asked. What you were doing, Nathaniel said. Jason looked at him a moment, but he went back to going in and out of me. He wasn't as hard as he'd started, too much talking, too much hesitating, but he was still hard enough to do what Nathaniel asked. For me, I was simply content to let Nathaniel be in charge, content to revel in this blossoming strength that he owned his sexuality in a way that he never had before. I'd been working with Asher to help meet Nathaniel's needs in the BDSM, and it had brought out a deep inner happiness in him that I hadn't known was there. 
While Jason pushed between my legs, Nathaniel raised my skirt the last few inches to bare my ass so that I could feel his nakedness against me, the sensation of his hardness pressing into my ass and Jason inside me at the same time threw my head back, closed my eyes, made me cry out. What are you doing back there, Jason asked. <laughs> Rubbing, what position do you want, he asked. Her, on her back, on the couch. This time he didn't ask me. I think he knew what Nathaniel would say, and there was no bad choice here. It was just a matter of how good it was going to be. Nathaniel pressed himself harder against me, and it made me writhe again. Asher and Nathaniel had taught me that neither of them had to be inside me to make me react like this. There was just something about being pressed between two men, feeling them rubbing against me, that simply did it for me. Jason was harder, more securely inside me now. He liked the writhing, but then most men did. It was an involuntary response on my part, but I liked the effect it had on most men, and the effect that their, and the effect that their liking it had on me. My body encouraged them with every movement, every spasm, and their bodies responded to that encouragement. Go team. Yeah. <laughs>